Do you think, T? You're not that bothered, are you? No. Yeah. The new hero eight got these legs and they fold up like that. Yeah. Switch it on, see if it's got any battery in it. So in the box, Oop. one battery, one mounting point thing, and one cable. Right, so it says it's 12 megapixel camera, 4K 60 or 1080p at 240 frames a second. 8 times slow motion, hyper smooth 2, time warp 2, 1080p live streaming, live burst, photo and HDR, uh, raw, it's got the uh, mounting clips, you can control it with your voice, it's touch screen and it works underwater up to 33 feet or 10 meters and it's got GPS. Uh, see if the battery's got any charge in it. Yeah, it does. English. Yeah, agree to the terms. We'll put the GPS on for now, and now I'm going to set up it on the phone. So it says install the GoPro app on your phone. Well, I've already got that on there. So GoPro app. I'll add a camera. Found your camera, found your GoPro. So now the two are connected. You can change the name. I don't think I want it called GP247, whatever it is. I like Bob Hero 8. I'll do for now. Right, so immediately there's an update. So I'll update the camera. Accept and continue. Oh, I've got no SD card in it, so I need to put an SD card in there. Tara, don't need your help. that way probably or is it that way no right first time it's that way first continue Yeah, so you can control it from your phone. I don't tend to use that very much. In 
get all to the all the settings there. Earth is going on in here. There's an awful lot of noise going on. Hey, eh? what's it all about? Hey, T. The people outside. So how does it sound when I'm just walking around? Poppy, I think we can hear you quite clearly. Wonder how it sounds when I'm just walking around. Just like this. Just like this. Just like that. Probably can still get the sound when you're turning it round. You know, like you used to. Mm. As long as you remember that. Now we'll have to have a little play with it. That's the washing machine. See how we get on. Well, hello there. Um, as you can see, I've got a new camera. Um, it's a bit of an early Christmas present, I guess. Uh, I've been looking to see whether to get um, at the new Hero 8, or perhaps get um, you know another another type of camera. I was thinking of getting one of those little uh, compact cameras, but to be perfectly honest, most of the things that my phone or Jenny's phone can do, um, that's you know that replaces the compact camera. So I sort of thought, well, I might as well carry on with the Hero cameras. I mean, the great thing about the Hero cameras is their size, and I'll, I'll touch on that in a little while. Uh, so I sort of bought into the the whole GoPro thing, I guess. Um, but like I say, early Christmas present. This is not a technical review. Uh, I'm not going to go into a great deal of detail about the GoPro. I think that's probably been done to death by lots of people. I'll put a few links up here to some videos that I've watched that help me decide whether to buy the, the, the uh, GoPro Hero 8 and uh, you can have a look at them yourself. What I will do is I'll have a look at it and uh, I'll tell you some of the things I like about it and possibly one of the things that I'm not so keen on. So the first thing is the small size. Um, it is bigger than the previous camera. If you can see that, it's a little bit uh, narrower, but it is ever so slightly bigger. But it's still compact. You know, you can fit that in your pocket. You know, go in your pocket, and then you can get it out, and you've got a camera with you. And that's that's really what I, I liked about the heroes right from the outset when I bought the first Hero uh, Five session was the size of it. It's it's quite. A, it's got a bit of weight to it, so you know you've got it. But you could just start filming. Just press the button, straight, straight out, out your pocket, pocket, and you're filming. You know, so that's the great thing about the Hero group of cameras. Now I'm going to talk about some of the um, the things that I like about it. Now, it's got no frame. You notice it's got the, the previous heroes came with a, a frame that went round it. Let me just show you one. You can buy frames like this, and the reason for this frame is so you can put the mic adapter in there. It needs a mic adapter still, incidentally, in case you're wondering. But you you can buy frames now. <laughs> the drawback with that is, guess what? Because it's bigger, this doesn't fit the existing frame. So it does mean that I've got to buy another frame. To fit this if I want to use external mics. Now one of my thoughts about using the Hero 8 was do I really need an external mic? And I don't know if you can notice on there there's a couple of hole well there's a hole there and that's a forward facing microphone. So if I press that and I just switch to the audio from the camera I, I think you'll see that it's not too bad. So my theory is I could just use this without an external mic and I'm going to be testing that theory over over the time because if you look at the camera I'm filming this with see I've got this rig with an external fluffy mic on it mic adapter and it tends to make the whole thing that much bigger 
you see that okay I get on to some of the other things if you can see on there I don't know if this is going to come out it's actually got grid lines on it so if you're slightly you know if you're slightly at a an angle you can line it up with the grid lines you can you, you can switch the grid lines on it on and off but that's one of the things I really like I've noticed quite quite often I've been filming something and I, I've been filming it at an angle and I've not noticed until I've got the footage it's quite easy to do if you're just holding it and you're concentrating on what you're talking about so the grid lines are really useful one of the really nice things about this camera and one of the things I think that influenced me to change it was that I've got this set on 1080 25 frames a second linear you've got a set of presets what they call presets so you can change it very quickly so if I wanted to go up to what they've called cinematic I just press that and it quickly goes to 4k 25 frames a second or I want to go to what they call activity so 2.7k 50 frames a, a second super view so it's very easy to change things with these presets and you can adjust the presets as well so you go into the settings and you can adjust them and you can get them all to suit what you, what you need and it does mean that it's very easy and very quick to be able to change the settings on the GoPro and that's a really good bonus and it, it's because and also because it's on the back of the camera you don't have to stop what you're doing and, and think oh I've got to change it you, you get a setting on there you might want a setting I might want one for uh, I don't know going on a boat or something and I can just change it there and then and it's done very easy really nice the other thing I want to mention is the video quality I think you'll see and if I show you some footage I think you'll see that the, the video is much better and they've got improved the stabilization you can put a thing called boost stabilization on there and uh, you'll see that I think it's much steadier than the previous one uh, have a look anyway audio is a lot better when you're just talking to the uh, the front facing microphone another thing i want to mention is that you can use a zoom on here do you see the little little arrow little thing there that's a zoom function so you can hit it and you can zoom in and out very difficult to show you uh, the boost on there zoom get it that's it so I can zoom in on something there so you can see that's quite that's two times zoom and you've also got what they call digital lenses but I guess they're just the way you're looking at things you've got a narrow view you've got a linear view which is the one I tend to use you've got a super view which gives you a bit of that fisheye look and you've got a super view which gives you even more of a fisheye view but it takes in a lot of a lot of the scenery if you can see that it also makes you look really <sighs> there you go so the things i'm not so keen on um i don't really like having to buy some extra frames for the you know things like lights and micro external microphones and that not so keen on that the other thing is this lens here whilst it's a nice compact camera they've done away with what you used to have on the GoPro is you used to have a, a replaceable lens cover you could take that off if you got it scratched and it, you could get a new one you could buy a new one you can't do that on this one and it is a bit of a worry this glass is supposed to be tougher than it was before but if you scratch it and it's you know it can be done this camera you know could be scrapped and that's a real worry so I need to be very careful with that. I mean, I know obviously on SLRs you can you can damage lenses quite easily, um, and maybe scrap the lens that way. But you know, this is an action camera, and possibly it's not their best feature that they've taken away the replaceable lens, which is a bit of a disappointment. So what I am going to do is I'm going to buy some uh, lens covers, which will help uh, prevent the worst scratches. It probably won't help. Um, it getting smashed if I really really drop it on something hard but yeah not its best feature but overall I'm really happy with this um, it is a brilliant little camera I do like these little little feet that come out like that and you can mount it and you you know you can carry that around in your pocket 
ready to film anything that you see basically so I get a ch I will get a chance um, later next week on Thursday when we pick up that um, Malibu A-Class van to actually use the, the, Go the GoPro Hero 8 for real if you like uh, I'm going to say in anger but it won't be in anger would it um, get a chance to, to test it in the field and uh, see how we get on with it so that's it for now um, if you like what you see or if you've got any questions about the camera ones I can answer of course um, let us know and uh, we'll uh, catch up with you soon so give us a thumbs up remember to subscribe and it's bye for now see you then Oh, she's on camera. Oh, you hear the little beans.